So you say God doesn't love murderers or rapists? No, God loves everyone. That's what I But thought. God's personal love does not flow to a murderer or rapist. So where do they go when they're supposed to be going up one of the two of these paths? Every single person passes into the spirit world, okay. and these paths are not clearly defined. Okay. In other words, when you arrive in the spirit world, you will not know, often most spirits do not know where they are when they first pass. Most people, as you know, on the earth have very little concept of spirit life. So therefore, they arrive in the spirit world not knowing where they are. Does that make sense? The more you learn now, the better off you'll be for that reason. But when you first pass, let's say I'm a murderer, I will pass into the first sphere, right? And I'll pass into the lower regions of the first sphere, which are called the hells, H-E-L-L-S, by spirits. Spirits call them that. But they're not fiery torment places, right, that the religions teach. They're actually places of darkness. They smell, they're very uncomfortable. And you can actually read channel material, which I'll talk about a little later, about the hills and what they're like. Yeah. And many people, uh, many spirits in the hills really strongly affect people on earth to do the things that are wrong. So you've heard of th things like a murderer saying, I don't know what happened, but you know, I just killed three people and I don't know, I can't remember what happened. And often that is because of heavy spirit influence because the spirits themselves are still, in the, still have a desire to know. So, but God loves every single soul, every child, but God's personal, you, you can't have a personal relationship with God until you desire one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. 